Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I've got a huge video full of leaks from almost every single different Apple product. I've got AirPods, ARM-based Macs, and even a brand new bug that will crash your iPhone instantly. So let's get right into it. Ming-Chi Ko, who has a fantastic track record of predicting Apple things, he's an analyst, he knows his stuff, he says that the third gen AirPods will start mass production in the first half of 2021 the design will be unchanged, but there will be new internals. Now, it looks like these are going to be exactly the same form factor as the AirPods Pro that we currently have, but the internals will be different and supposedly have better features. Now, we're not sure what it's gonna have internally, like exactly what the features are going to be, but it's pretty interesting here because this rumor actually conflicts with John Prosser's rumor, which he's claiming that these new AirPods are ready to launch anytime. Now, there are also rumors that Apple's working on a new set of AirPods Pro without active noise cancellation. So that would be basically a cheaper version of the AirPods Pro. Not sure what they'd call it there. So to kind of summarize this for you guys and put a little bit of what I know into this, I think that what he's referring to are the brand new AirPods Pro third gen that are going to be full featured with active noise cancellation, all those features. I think those are coming next year. However, I do think Apple's probably going to launch a cheaper version of the AirPods very soon, perhaps even in the fall. Stay tuned here. I think that Ming-Chi Ko is actually referring to a different thing than John Prosser. I think they're two separate items. I think we'll get a cheaper one first this year, and then the third gen, you know, full-fledged AirPods Pro, a new one next year. So watch the channel closely, but that's my prediction. Next up, oh my gosh, Bloomberg's Mark Gurman recently took questions from followers on Periscope about Apple's product roadmap, and he outlined quite a few things down below. And this guy's usually pretty spot on. And in those questions, he was obviously asked about the iPhone 12 quite a bit because you guys and pretty much everyone is interested in that phone. Apple is expected to offer four iPhones in three different sizes this year, a 5.4 inch iPhone, a 6.7 inch iPhone, and two 6.1 inch iPhones. It says here one 6.1 inch model and the 6.7 inch model will be higher end iPhones and the other 6.1 and 5.4 inch will be lower end successors to the iPhone 11. Now we've already been over this in the last video, so go check that out. But I mentioned that the next iPhone is obviously going to have LiDAR cameras and possibly a 120 Hertz pro motion display. If it has that, I might actually upgrade from my 11 pro because I love the higher refresh rate phones. They just look so smooth. Now I already told you guys, it's gonna have the boxier design like the iPad Pros. He also confirmed that. We know that's pretty much happening. But here are some other things. Apple plans a substantial iMac refresh this year with a possible redesign as well. German says rumors of a 23 inch iMac sound about right. An upcoming 14 inch MacBook Pro will mirror design changes seen in the 16 inch MacBook Pro such as increased screen size and scissor switch keys. This one, I'm still iffy about because Phil Schiller specifically stated that they were not working on a 14 inch MacBook Pro. Couldn't help but ask him, does this 16 inch MacBook Pro mean a 14 inch update is coming? Uh, no, I wouldn't draw any extrapolation from, from this to anything else. This was a year or two ago, so I know it's been time, but he literally said they're not working on it. So I don't know about this one, guys. It could just be another 13 inch, but I would be very pleasantly surprised if they released a 14 inch MacBook Pro. He said, stay tuned for information on the ARM based Macs, which is actually our next story. So sit tight. We've got a lot to get through here. German says there's a team at Apple saving the HomePod because of bad sales. New Apple TV coming this year, but unlikely to be 8K. So if you guys are wanting an Apple TV, hold off on it. Just wait a little bit longer. It's coming. A 16 inch MacBook Pro refresh expected in October or November. Obviously, Apple's still working on air power. We already knew that. I told you guys that in the last video. Apple Watch Series 6 coming later this year with sleep tracking. Air tags coming. I already told you about that. Modular high end over ear Apple headphones expected in this fall. I'll talk to you more about that. Those are not going to be Beats, they're going to be Apple branded. It's going to be pretty cool. Apple's obviously still focused on self driving technology. Underscreen fingerprint technology not coming to iPhone this year possibly next year. I'll talk about more of that later. I want to subscribe so you guys don't miss that episode when I go over that because my sources are telling me some pretty interesting things about that. German doesn't think rumors about Xcode for iOS are true. John Prosser seems to think it's true, so we'll see about that. Apple literally said they're, they have no plans to do that, so I don't necessarily trust that yet, but I'll have to check with my sources and see what they say. Apple is also working on an augmented reality headset still, so that's coming. So those are just a quick rundown of what's in the works, but let's talk about this ARM-based Mac coming in 2021. Now this is in line with the time frame shared by Ming-Chi Ko. Last month, Bloomberg Today reports that Apple is planning to release at least one Mac with its own custom designed ARM based processor by 2021. So that means this year we're gonna get 
refreshes to the current MacBook Pro 16 inch. But the next year, we've got a 12 core beast coming, which is going to be absolutely insane. You guys know how fast Apple iPhones are. The Geekbench scores they get is crazy. It's better than anything on the market. In fact, some people's iPads are faster than their computers, like their Macs. So Apple said, hey, we can just make our own chips and put those into our Macs. And that's exactly what it looks like they're gonna do. So the report claims that Apple is developing three Mac processors based on the A14 chip in the upcoming iPhone 12 models. At least one of these processors will apparently be much faster than the A series chips in the iPhone and iPad. The Mac processors are expected to be manufactured by TSMC based on its five nanometer process. It says the first ones are gonna be 12 cores, including eight high performance cores and at least four energy efficient cores according to the report. This is absolutely insane, but is said to be exploring Mac processors with more than 12 cores for further in the future, with a company already designing a second gen of Mac processors based on the A15 chip. Now the first one's gonna be a notebook, but Ming-Chi Ko actually expects at least one Mac desktop with the Apple processor next year too. So this is crazy. This is gonna be a huge step forward for all Apple fans and for technology in general. Stay tuned on this one. This is a lot bigger news than most people are uh, reporting. Seriously, this is awesome. Next up here, there is a new bug in messages causing iOS devices to crash. So if you get this string of characters uh, sent to your device from Twitter, iMessage, mail, wherever, it will crash your phone and you will have to hard reboot it in order to get your phone to work again. It involves using the Italian flag emoji along with characters in the Cindy language. And it appears the system crash happens when an incoming notification is received with the problem causing characters. So some people had tweet notifications on for everything Apple Pro. He tweeted it out and bricked a bunch of people's phones until they rebooted them. So if there's a malicious person that you know of, just be wary of who you are allowing to text you right now because they could crash your phone. Know that you guys could just reboot your phone. A hard reboot will do it and everything will go back to normal, but it is super annoying. So don't do this one to your friends, guys. It is too malicious, in my opinion, to be sending to people, especially if they don't know how to hard reset their phone. But iOS 13.4.5 actually fixes the issue if you have the second beta installed. With this in mind, Apple will probably be rushing out an update possibly as early as tomorrow to fix this, uh, if not Monday. So just be on the lookout for an iOS update and I will let you guys know. Follow me on Twitter. I'll let you guys know as soon as it's released. So that's all I got for this video, guys. If you liked it, hit with a big thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.